Hi everybody, this is Nick Held with Purdue Extension here in Spencer County with our next plant science video. Today we're going to talk about the parts of a plant. We're going to look at what each one of those parts do. Then we'll take a look at some common foods that we get from plants and we'll see which part of the plant those foods come from. So we'll start out by identifying the parts of a plant. All plants have roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruit, and seed. The roots of the plant take up the water and nutrients from the soil that the plant needs to grow and reproduce. They also provide support, help holding the plant in place in the ground. The stem of the plant transports that water and nutrient throughout the plant. The stem also provides support above ground, and the stem stores food reserves that the plant needs. The leaves are where the plant breathes releasing oxygen and absorbing carbon dioxide. The leaves are also where the plant absorbs sunlight to produce the food it needs. The leaves also store food. The flowers are the reproductive portion of the plant. They're often fragrant and colorful to attract pollinators to help the plant produce fruit and seed. The fruit and seed form after the plant has pollinated. The seeds then produce new plants. So now we're going to take a look at some common foods that we get from plants and we're going to look at what part of the plant those foods actually come from. We have some celery, we've got some broccoli, carrots, lettuce, and tomatoes. We'll start with our carrots. The portion of the carrot plant that we most commonly eat is the roots. So we'll put those down here at the bottom of the plate just like this. Next we'll add our celery. The portion of the celery plant that we most often eat is the stem, though you can eat the leaves and use them in different types of food. The celery stem that we normally eat is the stem of the celery plant. Next, I've added the lettuce to our plate. When we eat lettuce, we're eating the leaves of the lettuce plant. Now I've added the broccoli to the plate. You're probably catching on to what we're doing here. The portion of the broccoli that we eat is the flower. Now at this stage, it hasn't started blooming yet, but if it would continue to open up, it would actually form small yellow flowers on the florets. Finally, I've added the tomato to the top of our plate. The tomato is the fruit of the tomato plant. And if you look closely, you can see the small seeds of the tomato inside of, of the tomato fruit. These seeds, if they were dried out and planted, would produce new tomato plants. So we've made a plant with our different plant parts. We've got carrots for the roots, celery for the stem, lettuce for the leaves, broccoli for the flowers, and tomato for the fruit and seeds. You can definitely try this at home. If you don't have these specific vegetables, see what else you can find. See if you can identify what part of the plant those vegetables came from. The best thing about this project is when you're done, you get to eat it. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week.